the questions might be the same, but the answers are different. <laughs> the questions of 1986, when some people came from the bush, might be the questions of today. But the answers are totally different. Answers are not those ones where you have to remind us that you came from the bush, you had guns. No, the narrative is totally different. I told one of them, I said, if you had your disagreements, I was born on 10th November 1980. I wasn't part of your disagreements. We have our own disagreements today. So if I'm, if I'm a speak of parliament, I must address the challenges of my generation. You can't keep taking me back to say because in parliament revolutionaries are no longer at the forefront, therefore parliament is dead. Who told you? Huh? Who told you? So we need to challenge these people. And I hope you journalists can help us challenge these people. I have a parliament where I have very young people with PhDs. I have a parliament of people with masters, of people with PhDs, and you say they cannot manage Uganda when you had people who had not gone to school taking over power and managing a country. <laughs> and we just take it lying low. So I think what we need, I need you journalists to help us to shape the narrative so that we can respect each other. If you're a revolutionary and you fought in government, if you're a senior leader, we bow for you, we give you your respect. But once we are given a chance to serve, don't try to bring us down, just support us. Advise us, we might be young, we might be excited, we make some mistakes, but advise us. But go and declare us that we are dead. In the British Parliament, they speak for one minute. In Uganda Parliament, people want to speak for five minutes because they are repeating themselves.